evolution of sound. Beep, beep. What's up, ninjas? My name is Sam Rold. We had an amazing live stream this morning. Just so you guys know, my live streams are going to be Thursdays at 8 in the morning every single week. So make sure to tune in. Now, pretty much, guys, you guys submitted this in the Evolution of Sound group. Um, Kartik Rao shared this link. I don't know how old it is, but it did bring up something that I want to talk about. And he talks about, DJ Emba talks about it in his post. Now, DJ Emba is going to be a very notable producer that has produced hit singles for the radio and all this stuff. And he pretty much burst it out and kind of whistleblowed in a way but couldn't do much because he has signed NDAs which we'll get to in this video now DJ Amba says he believed you know he made the mistake of thinking the system was fair just like a lot of you guys believe that as long as you have passion in music you can make a career out of it and that's not the case anymore guys I think you know you have a good brand and all this stuff that it's really unfair because people with money are going to be able to do it easier than you um, so pretty much we talk about DJ Amba he's talking about starting your own brand and just doing it yourself instead of trying to get signed to a label to give you that fan base why don't you do it yourself why don't you get that fan base hustle find ways to do it yourself now dj emma keeps talking about you know you know just a lot of things but the thing that i really wanted to talk about this video is this part here it's no secret that a and r's and published producers draw soundcloud for inspiration keeping opportunity for themselves just like fashion now what does this mean guys well i'll bring it down to our level because this is what i wanted to talk about in this video and it's going to be the fact that our culture revolves around us trying to get support from DJs. Why? Because it makes us feel good. It, it makes us feel like our music is, is you know, main stage worthy. But at the same time, it's supposed to attract audiences to our music. Like, let's say Hard will support you and he says so on a podcast. And you're going to get some traffic from that, obviously. The problem here that arises is that let's say you have a very unique style that could be the next best thing you know like let's say future bass or, or or something wasn't invented yet or or it wasn't notable and you send that demo to let's say one of these artists that you idolize what's stopping them from stealing your style what's stopping them from going hey this guy is a nobody he has no followers but his style is sick um let's grab it that idea and just make it our own and then that's it and and we won't support his music and now we can get big off it what's stopping them from doing that well to be honest nothing is stopping them and the sad thing about it guys is is that let's say you are that artist and let's say you, you you're like a nobody in the music scene but you have amazing music you're gonna say something but no one's gonna pay attention to you because again you don't have a fan base you don't have a following like let's say i had twenty thousand followers and tso decides to steal my music and i'm like hey guys like what the fuck you look like this shit um you know why is anybody gonna care that's the question so with this video i just want to say to you guys to be really careful if you guys think you're good don't feel the need that you need to get supported by other djs go out to, you know you know your music is good then start getting it out do stuff you know i don't know message youtubers to to stream your music um try and get it into places that people will hear you know put money into marketing like we had topic um you know in a live stream once and he told us that pretty much one of his first hit singles that made him catapult into a platinum producer was just literally he he saved money up he had twenty thousand dollars and he put it into his music because he believed his song could get big and he did it all on himself and this can easily be done by you guys you don't have to invest twenty thousand dollars in in ads but you can do it yourself and this kind of prevents this thing from happening where people can jack your style now dj emma goes on to talk a lot more about how edm festivals aren't the solution to this problem because they're actually part of the problem if you think about it um a lot of the guys that, that want to play at edm festivals are kind of fame hungry um you know they kind of want the attention 50 minutes of fame whatnot and all that stuff and and to be honest i can see why some people would get greedy with that maybe you get a high from it but you know go read pretty much dj emba's post i think it's a really good read guys i just wanted to make a quick video on this because this is something to think about i want you guys to leave in your co in the comments below what you guys think about this whole situation do you think it happens that often do you think DJs like Hardwell, these huge DJs actually do that where they jack the style, start a new artist and just, you know, say fuck that guy that's in the music. Let me know in the comments below, guys. You know, be on the lookout for more videos today. I'm going to try and make a Spanish one por los que hablan en español. Support me on Patreon if you believe in what I do. I have a lot of crazy perks for you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, ninjas, and have an amazing, an amazing day.